Hello everyone and welcome to the video. My name is Eight Thoughts. Now I was gonna take the day off, I was gonna chill out, but then this fell on my lap. I just kind of confused, first of all. I mean, I made some videos in the past talking about how Ali A faked his live commentaries and there was a, no, he doesn't. And I think that a lot of Call of Duty and YouTubers in general, Fortnite, doesn't really matter when they do these live commentaries. Like they always hide their hands and never actually show the gameplay and they just sort of sit there and they do these live commentaries. Because if you don't know, doing a live commentary and getting a good game is a pain in the ass. Because you know what, you always constantly recording and you always have to pretend like you're on and you hope you know, go on and try to get wind or have a good gameplay and it can take like a half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour, who knows, especially in Fortnite. So these guys in Fortnite to make it easier, just play, they get a win and then they go back and they pretend to do a live commentary over it. And I don't know why they do, but I have 110% bona fide proof and I don't know why, but T. Martin shows that he faked his live commentary. All right, guys, so the first stop off the bus was uh, good old Snobby Shores. I figured we could stop here and uh, make our way to Tilted afterwards. We should get a decent amount of action, I hope. I saw a couple other people coming in. Grab this, grab this, grab this. Go ahead and take our potion. No, nah, actually, I'm gonna... Five ten, five ten, five ten. So the first stop off the bus was a uh, good old snobby shores landing. Hi, you just got busted for faking a live commentary, T. Martin. How does it feel? <laughs> I mean, there were comments on the video as well before he took it down, standing like, "Oh, hey, 43 second mark." When you realize T. Martin isn't actually doing a live commentary and talks over his gameplays, mm. this is pre-recorded because at the beginning he said he's going to take the potion before he even got anything, and mm. then Mojo Gaming comes in and says, "Oh dear, I think this was pre-recorded." Now this looks like to me, it's 110% proof that T. Martin, and I'm sure a lot of other people as well, faked their live commentaries and for reasons I don't know. I mean, the reasons I think why they do it is because getting live gameplays and getting wins playing Fortnite would be a pain in the ass trying to do a live commentary every time because you know you only get a win maybe once, twice a day if you're just a regular player, an averagely above average good player rather. Not like Ninja who gets 15 wins every hour, but for an average person, you get one or two wins a day if you're lucky. So to sit there and do a live recording over and over and over and try to make it entertaining after you lose and you lose and you lose, it's just really difficult. So it's easier just to play the game get a win get something exciting to happen and then go back and sit there and hide your hands like he is and try to time stamp it and pretend that you're actually doing live commentary and another thing which is funny is this is a day after the video i did yesterday where we talked about t-mart says a cool guy but i make up stuff and i fabricate issues to make these other guys look bad and it's not actually based on reality and i'm the one fabricating things even though i'm not the guy that fabricated about how i just happened to find a website i didn't own in one six thousand dollars best friend brock you know what i'm saying dabble them haters t-martin but anyways t-martin's busted fakes his live commentaries ladies and gentlemen I hope you enjoyed the video um a few things here to update you as well I'm streaming on Twitch on a regular basis now. I've also got brand new merch in high definition vector files so that the actual image, if you purchased one before, wasn't as clear. And I'm sorry about that. I'm not sure what the hell happened. But the new one's been done by a professional designer, graphic artist, and the emblems and all that stuff is going to look super crisp and sharp and clean and professional. Um, so links to that below is as well. New Twitter, all that stuff, Twitch streaming. Make sure to check it out. And uh, last but not least, make sure to subscribe. I mean, if you're like I said, if you're not doing anything else in your life with this really going well for you, at least subscribe. That'll at least give you some kind of points in the positive side of the aspect of the world. And last but not least, I need you all to stay black and don't let the hockey crack and rip till it shape shift or build the moon base harp. There's spray and camp trails that levels inside like Jobs, Google Tower, Sam, the Behemoth Grover, and all those slightly less fake. Alex Jones is Bill Hicks. Alex Jones is also Asian and misinformation. LeBron James sucks. Michael Jordan's a goat. Flores turned the frogs gay. White man, are you down? Ooh, Yeah. <laughs>